But another one of the developing recommendations is this upskilling of high school students. Uh, and uh, which the simple version of it is that sort of shop classes have disappeared from high schools for the most part. Uh, but I don't think you mean exactly that. You don't mean just the return of welding to the high school classes. But to some degree, you do mean that, right? Well, yeah. You know, of course, Doug, growing up in Mississippi like you did and I, uh, how'd you get in shop in 1964? Well, you smoked because bad kids got sent to shop. That was, that's, but today where they still have vocational technical training to any real degree, it is enormously successful in teaching kids skills and also making them understand why the high school diploma matters to them. Uh, and and the er we've learned that the earlier we start exposing people to skills and trades and skill training, the more likely it is they'll stay in school, they'll graduate. I tell you, but, uh, I've said this earlier, over 60% of the children who drop out of high school in Mississippi are passing. They're not failing. They just don't see what this has got to do with their future. But if they get exposed to skills training and see some careers that they're interested in, or they can get interested in, they're much more likely to finish high school, maybe go on to the community college or whatever. Yeah, my 17-year-old son, I think, uh, would be interested in learning how to do some of these uh, mechanical functions, but the idea that that was the beginnings of a career choice for him, I think, is still attached with uh, the stigmatization that, that Governor Barber's been talking about. By the way, I did take shop back in Leland High School in Leland, Mississippi, and I did learn to weld, and I can still operate a weld torch. Well, um, but your, your point, Doug, is just dead on. If my children are a lot older. I have a son, 39, one 34, and if my baby, graduated from high school 16 years ago, if Marsha, my wife, had gone to the beauty parlor and said, now Reeves has decided he's not going to go to Ole Miss, he's going to go to Holmes Junior College and learn a skill. Now, what would they have said at the beauty parlor? Well, Marsha, what's wrong with him? That's what they'd have said because we have so stigmatized the idea of skills training, and that's one of the reasons today the average community college student in the United States is 26 or 27 years old. I can't remember what the figures are, Doug, but, I mean, you get a, a good electrician, a good plumber, a guy who can really fix your car and do it well, they can make a good living. And that's good, honest work.